Hi, this is Howard Jones. Welcome to the food forest. Gonna walk around a little bit. Take some raspberries. And uh, this is the food forest. Talk to Maria, the yellow flowers. Big. Lots of figs around here. Sage, that's sage there. We dry that. That's more a uh, uh, fever few, those little white flowers. So with a high temperature. Really good for you if you've got a high temperature. Um oh, this is different green. A oh, little tomato plant, sunflower, angelica. So beautiful brown. Bunch of creamy flowers. Uh that's a tree rose in the back there, that white one. This is a big this is a thickness gigantic. Just a massive big. And uh, over here, this is raspberries. These are all raspberries here. Um, we like to put them everywhere in the food forest. Because they grow anywhere. They're big raspberries. These are Malahat Reds. They're the biggest uh, raspberries that you can get. Um, yeah, there they are. I'll, I'll pick one and eat it. They're pretty tasty. Great for scraping the colon. There we go. May as well have breakfast while I'm here. Kind of hungry anyway. You know, berries disappear pretty fast. Here, pick a handful and eat them. Uh, some figs. There's food all over here. It's, it's amazing how much food is really here. These, these are attractive butterflies and uh, all the flowers. You know, they. And bees, and all the climbing roses. These are climbing roses. We like them to climb through the trees. They attract. We want we want them looking after themselves, collecting the nectar. And there's lots of berries here. There's berries everywhere. And, uh, you can't go wrong with having food for the sumac. This is a sumac. A nice lemon drink from. And, um, this is a grape. Another grape attached to the apple. This is a seed staking. I just put, I, I, I break off. That's apples. Those are apples. A lot of apple trees here. But I like to make, I like to cut the, the kale seed and just put it in a tree and leave it and let it dry and then shake it in a garbage bag. It's absolutely fabulous. You can always have to see non-GMO, of course. Hey. Hey. There we go, lots of raspberries still. Go, Dean. Hey. Berries everywhere, dude. You just tap the bushes and the chickens all run and eat them. Hey. There we go, some gojis. Lyceum barbarum. Mm. Lovely. Yeah, those are almost pure protein. <laughs> Yeah, that's a walk to the food forest. Bob's barking. Blueberries there. Oh, boys. Yeah, and here's some uh, more blueberries here. Lots more blueberries. Yeah, lots of blueberries here. Tons and tons of blueberries. A uh, little sun chokes. They're, they're underground chokes up that grow underground. Um, this has a canopy here now, which is wonderful. It's shade in the summer. These are tomatillos. I like tomatillos planted everywhere. More gojis, of course. Lots of gojis. Lots of greenery here. Oh, that was a teasel there. We just went by the teasel. It's a, from Europe. So, an interesting plant. It grows wild. And uh, there's some uh, squash blooms. And 
and um, poppies, and, uh, kale blossoms, a lot of squash and watermelon grows all through the forest. There's a poppy, and uh, there's more nasturtiums, and cinnamon wasabi, and raspberries, lots of raspberries, bayberries. We, we, uh, we freeze just copious amounts. We can fill a freezer every year with just frozen berries. It's an incredible sight. Wonderful. I'm go along here as well. There are lots of these. And you can stuff those squash flowers with rice and beans and some spice. Oh my gosh, they're good. They're just heaven. Oh, here's some tea berries. These are delicious. Very juicy. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of greenery here. There's, there's comfrey and nasturtiums. You can, eat, you can eat a lot here all summer long. Even in the winter time, it's incredible how much food is here. Oh, there's another tea berry there. Those are good. I like them. I put them in smoothies and such. It's a long, <coughs> big video. Yep. Cherry tree there. More cherry berries. And more raspberries and blackberries. I could get lost for days in here and it's not very big. <coughs> Cherry tree there. With grapes at the National Arbor. You have to really push your way through sometimes. You take out the machete. At times I have to hack my way around just to get through. I'm sure it's wonderful to see. Especially with the canopy, it cools down here, stays nice and cool. And then when you get out of the canopy, it's, it's really hot. These are apples, they think it's yeah. There's so many. I lose track of which ones are where. That's some Budley and Davidii in the back there, that blue, blue flowers you can see it there. Uh, I like Budlia. It's a, poll a pollinator. There it is there. And, and the bees just love this, but a lot of people, you know, they don't like it. They call it invasive. Well, I like it because it, it ties the bees over when, I, when there's not much around. It's a late flowering budly. Uh, it's, uh, I like them. But, uh, a lot of naturalists don't. Well, it's understandable, but in the food forest, they're good to have as a pollinator. They're the best to have. They're really attractive. And berry berry, the plant, the shrub berry berry, that's, a, that's a, another great one. 